Hello everyone, in the last part of this video, I have explained how to convert a website into app. In this video, I am going to add a back button and forward button, okay, like this. If I go to uh, contact page, I can able to back because uh, if I click this button, I get back to this previous page. If I click the forward button, it again go to that page, okay. Let's start. First, I am going to add a web view controller after this okay wait web view controller okay here this name is controller after this i am going to create a on web view create on web view created okay here i am going to create a web view controller Web view controller here. I'm going to give as web view web views. Okay. After this, I'm going to call a controller equal to this name web views. Okay, I'm going to copy it as paste it. After this, I'm going to create a app board after the scaffold. App board, app board actions because I'm going to add back button and forward button. Okay, icon button, button. Okay, here this is arrow, arrow back. That's the function name. I'm going to change this into icon icons dot arrow back okay after this I want to create a sized box sized box okay inside the size box I want to add a width I want to use a media query media query dot of context dot size dot width okay because of mobile responsive width okay start 0 7 5 7.5 sorry after this I'm going to add a forward button okay icon icon button okay icon button here forward here I'm going to change this into icons dot arrow underscore forward okay okay after this after this I'm going to create a function first I'm going to create a arrow back function after this, I'm going to paste this. I'm going to use a async. I'm going to create a if condition. Inside if condition, I'm going to use a await underscore controller. This controller, okay? Controller. Sorry. Dot can call go back. After this, I want to create again await here controller dot go back. Okay, first I save this. Uh, first, I just create a dummy function for this because it will show error. Okay, first, I save this file and Press shift all because my emulator is already in running. Okay, just press shift or it will reload the page. Yeah, everything is fine. If I click and go to login page, yeah, I mean login page. If I click this back button, I get back to the home page, right. 
if I click forward it will not work because I didn't give any function to this okay so I'm going to add a function for this I think here again I'm going to create a if condition sorry share await underscore controller dot can go forward await underscore controller dot go forward ok and I save this file and in terminal I press shift R it will reload the file yeah everything is fine if I first I'm going to click the menu yeah I'm, again I'm going to contact yeah this is contact page okay if I click this back button yeah I'm go back if I click forward button it's again go to that page you can create a back and forward button like this I think this video will help you. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Bye.